Hello everyone, uh, I'm Abhi Yashodhran and today we are diving into something that sounds quite complex but it's actually quite fascinating. Yes, online clearance monitoring or KT by V or CM. It might sound like a high-tech sci-fi system, right? Yes, but well, uh, in a way it is, but this innovative system helps us measure the dialysis adequacy in real time and ensuring the patients get the best possible treatment without all the guesswork. Buckle up! we are about to make sense of it all without the boring bits so what exactly is ocm so ocm stands for online clearance monitoring it's a real-time system that checks how well dialysis is working during the treatment think of it as a fitness tracker so but instead of uh, counting steps and calories it monitors how effectively we are clearing toxins from the blood so no more waiting for post dialysis blood tests this give us live data to act on sounds great so uh, now let's talk about uh, how do we measure dialysis effectiveness so we got two key players here one is urea reduction ratio and the other being kt over v so if you are thinking great more formulas to memorize don't worry i promise to keep it very simple and relatable trust me so urr uh, is a very simple percentage that tells us how much urea we have removed the formula you all might have aware it's pre dialysis urea my post dialysis urea uh, divided by uh, pre dialysis urea times 100. So imagine uh, you, you can think of a URR in this way. So imagine you are drinking a super sugary soda and then filtering it through a magic machine that removes sugar. The more sugar removed, the better the filter. The same concept with URR and dialysis. So let's put this into action. If a patient starts with a pre-dialysis urea level of 100 mg per dl and uh, after the dialysis if it is a 75 mg per dl so then the calculated urea reduction ratio will be 75 percentage. So let me explain you what does it mean by a URR or 75 percentage means. Imagine your bathtub starts with 100 liters of dirty water which represents the urea in the blood. So when you pull the drain plug after and after draining only 25 liters of dirty water remains at the bottom boom you just did a dialysis adequacy calculation in seconds give yourself a round of applause now so now kt over v which is a fancy looking term but actually it's quite logical so it's a unitless or a dimensionless number that tells us how efficiently dialysis is removing urea think of k the clearance as a kick or clearance power of the dialyzer t as the time how long the dialysis session lasts and v as volume distribution of urea which is equal to the total body water more clearance more time and the right volume yes you got a solid dialysis session so why do we care about kt over v well uh, you know imagine you are washing a car with a water hose so if you spray water for one minute, so then overall cleanliness of the car might look just okay, but some dead will always remain, okay? So if you go for two minutes, it's much cleaner, it's much cleaner. And, and the same principle applies here. The higher the KT over V means a better, more effective cleaning of the patient's blood. So, well, what's the what's the target kt by v what's the magic number for this so experts say kt over v should be at least 1.2 so anything less it's like giving your car a half hearted rinse that means you know good effort but it could be better in kt by v the more the merrier so how can we improve kt over v so if a patient's kt over v is too low so then we can what we can do is so we got options so, for example, increase dialysis time, boost blood flow, tweak dialysis flow, upgrade the dialyzer, or minimize urea recirculation. So, in short, if you optimize the cleaning process, so, so you know, when you optimize the cleaning process, so you will get good results. So, right now, I just want to ask a question to you guys, okay? Answer the question in the comments below. So, how can we calculate the blood flow rate range for a patient who weighs uh, 60 kilogram and has a mature AV fistula. Yes, you guys can answer this question in the comments.
So wouldn't it be amazing if we could measure KT over V without drawing any blood? Well, say hello to OCM. That's possible. Thanks to Fresenius Medical Care's brilliant innovation, so we can now estimate KT over V in real time without extra blood tests. Less hassle, more accuracy. So how does this OCM work? So basically, OCM relies on three factors, clearance K, time T, and volume V. The machine automatically gets T because, well, it's the one who is running the dialysis, right? So yeah, and volume V is calculated from patient details like, uh, you know, the gender and weight of the patient. But the real enigma is how it calculates, how it calculates the clearance K. So let's unravel that mystery today. Okay, so basically, uh, how does the machine measure uh, clearance without even a blood test? So, you know, it is really brilliant. It uses an innovative principle called ionic dialysis. So urea and sodium have similar diffusive properties. So by tracking how much sodium moves across the membrane, the machine estimates how much urea is removed. Science is cool, right? <laughs> yeah, so... The machine has, you know, basically how does it, you know, how the machine calculates this uh, clearance K or how it utilizes this principle ionic dialysis. The machine has two conductivity sensors, one at the dialysis inlet and one at the dialysis outlet. Okay, so it, the machine momentarily increases uh, sodium levels and uh, the machine continuously monitors how much gets transferred. If sodium shifts, urea must have shifted too. So this clever trick lets the machine estimate urea clearance in real time. For example, so let, let me let me show you an example. Okay, so if the if the inlet conductivity cell measures the level of sodium as 50 and the outlet conductivity cell measures the sodium as 20. Okay, then what do you understand by this? So you, you can see this in the picture. So which means approximately 30 amount of sodium must have diffused from the dialysate to the blood. Since sodium and urea has the same diffusive properties, 30 amount of urea must have diffused from blood to dialysate. Hola, you know, you just estimated the urea clearance rate. So it's, it's, it's relatively very simple. So how, uh, you know, let, let's do a real world example. You know, one uh, KT by V calculation, okay? So uh, if a male patient weighs 60 kilogram uh, and the K value calculated by the machine is 220 ml per minute and the dialysis time is 180 minutes, that's three hours. So the OCM display will show KT by V as 1.1, not bad. But remember, this is just an estimate. Yes, so this, the KT by V shown by the machine is always single pool KT by V. So it will always overestimate the clearance. So my advice, always correlate clinically. So we need to, you know, examine or we need to uh, you know, correlate the patient clinically in order to, uh, you know, uh, compare the results. So to wrap it up, OCM helps us measure dialysis efficiency instantly. So no extra blood test, no guesswork just or real-time numbers to ensure patient gets optimal treatment. It's like uh, having a GPS for dialysis adequacy. That means no more driving blind. It's really great. So at the end of the day, OCM is a game changer in dialysis care. It's fast, it's accurate, and reduces unnecessary blood draws. Okay, with, with tools like this, we are making dialysis smarter, more effective, and ultimately improving patient outcomes. So thank you all for your time and let's keep making a difference. So if you got questions, please drop your questions in the comments below. Let's discuss and let's make dialysis learning better and fun together. Cheers. Thank you.